Hi students, in today's session I am going to start NEET preparation series day 4. This covers previous year NEET and APMT questions from chemical bonding chapter. See the first question. Consider the following species CN plus CN minus NO and CN. Which one of these will have the highest bond order? So what you have to find? You have to find the highest bond order. Normally you have to solve this question by using molecular orbital theory but it takes your time. So I am going to discuss the trick so that you can solve this question easily. First write the numbers from 14 to 20. Again preceding numbers also 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 9, 8. 14 is an highest, 14 number of electrons is there means it will be having highest bond order that is 3. 14 onwards what you do is decrease 0. 0.5 and write 3. Next one is 2.5, 2, 1.5, 2, 1 1.5. Just you are decreasing 0. 0.5 and you are writing. And this side also decrease 0. 0.5 and write 2.5, 2, 1.5, 2, 1, 1, 0. 0.5. If you want to know before also I already uploaded a video on this. Go through the playlist. Whatever the chapter need series I am doing on the day just go through the playlist of that particular chapter. Clear? Then you can solve still more number of questions. Coming to the first one CN plus. What you do is take the atomic number. Carbon atomic number is 6 and nitrogen 7. It already lost one electron. Min plus is there means lost the electron. Minus is there means you have to add the electron. So plus is there you have to remove one electron. Then you get how much 12. 12 means what is the bond order students? 2. That's it. You write this and write this one in your examination hall side by or through practice you will get it. Better to write this. Then you can solve the question easily. Next CN minus. CN minus carbon group uh, atomic number 6 nitrogen 7 minus is there so you have to add one electron. Some if you do you get 14. 14 means what is the bond order 3. NO atomic number 7 ox nitrogen atomic number 7 oxygen 8. If you take some you will get 15. So 15 means what is the bond order 2.5. CN you will get 2.5. Clear. In this 4 what is the highest bond order? 3 is the highest bond order that is for which one? CN minus. And I want to tell you one more thing more is the bond order means more is the number of bonds bond order means number of bonds more is the bond order higher will be the stability higher will be the stability higher will be the stability more is the bond order one more thing is bond length will be less both bond order and bond length are inversely related. They may ask anything in these three. So you have to interrelate these three questions and with this and you can solve the question very easily. See the next question. In the structure of ClF3, the number of lone pair of electrons on central atom of chlorine is. What they are asking? How many lone pair of electrons are present in chlorine atom? So I will teach you a, sh a shortcut. See here to find hybridization what is the central atom in clf3 least electronegative atom is the central atom chlorine chlorine what is the group number students seventh groups or you can uh, seventh a or 17th group what you do is you have to know all the elements group numbers then only you can solve the questions from this chapter chlorine seventh a group one two 3, 7th A means Roman number 7 A. May again you will ask me. 7th A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 A group, right? Fluorine is a monovalent. Monovalent means it can share only one electron. 3 fluorines are there. Next, whatever the electrons are left, 2 electrons you have to consider as one lone pair. 2 electrons, one lone pair. 2 electrons, one lone pair. Now count the total number of bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If hybridization is asked, number 5 means 1s. 3 piece 1 D. Suppose if you get this number 2 means students listen here 2 means 1 S 1 P. If you get the number 3 means 1 S 2 piece. If you get the number 4 means 1 S 3 piece SP3. If you get the number 5 means 1 S 3 piece 1 D SP 3 D is a hybridization. But in the question they are asking number of lone pairs. How many lone pairs is left? 1 here 2. So what is the answer? 2 lone pairs is the answer. 2 is the answer. Clear? Next question. 
which of the following pairs of compounds is isoelectronic and isostructural isoelectronic what is the meaning of isoelectronic isoelectronic means same number of electrons same number of electrons what is isostructural it should have same structure fine i'll tell you a small trick no need to calculate total number of electrons in that particular molecule just what you do is count the number of electrons in the valence shell for example te i2 te i2 what you do is tellurium oxygen sulfur tellurium group number 6 So six electrons in the valence shell and iodine seven electrons in the valence shell. Two two iodines are there. Seven plus seven total fourteen. Fourteen plus six twenty. Same way XCF two you find students. How many will get xenon group number eight for example eight eighth group or eighteenth group. Then fluorine seven uh, plus seven seven electrons in the valence shell. Then how much you will get fourteen plus eight twenty two. So both are not isoelectronic. They are not having same number of electrons in the valence shell. Coming to the IBr two minus second option. Iodine group uh, seven electrons in the valence shell. Bromine also seven. How many are there? Like Br two uh, two bromines are there, and minus is there. So you have to add one electron. Seven three is a twenty one plus one twenty two. Next one is XCF two. Here we already calculated XF two. No, how much we got twenty two. So both IBr two minus and IF two are having same number of electrons. Let us see they are isostructural or not. Isostructural or not? How how to find? What is the trick I taught you? First you have to find the hybridization to find whether isostructural or not. What you should do, students? You have to find the hybridization. IBr two. Minus. What is the group number? Means how many electrons are there in the valence shell? Seven for iodine. Take the seven electrons. Four, five, six, seven. What is one one electron is extra minus is there? Br is a monovalent, so it can share only one electron. Whatever the remaining electrons, two electrons you have to consider as one lone pair. This two as one lone pair, two as one lone pair, two as one lone pair. Total how many? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five means what is the shape? Is what is the hybridization? Sp three D. Sp three D with three lone pairs. What is the shape? Linear is the shape. Sp three D with three lone pairs. Again, calculate for XCF two. Xenon electrons in the valence shell four, five, six, seven, eight. Fluorine is a monovalent, so it can share only single electron. Remaining two electrons. Considered as one lone pair, so total one, two, three, four, five. Five means sp three d is the hybridization, and how many lone pairs is there? Three lone pairs. So if three lone pairs sp three d, like this a, and here one lone pair, here one lone pair, here one lone pair, here some b is there, some b atom is there. Here in this case xenon, here one fluorine, here one fluorine, three lone pairs. What is the shape? Linear is the shape. Then this is your correct answer. Clear. Next question. The species having bond angle of one twenty degree. Just to find the hybridization of all. For example, ClF three, chlorine one two three four five six seven group number. Each fluorine is monovalent. Then remaining two electrons considered as one lone pair. Then one two three four five. Five means sp three d. Like this, do for all. Then you will get sp two hybridization only for uh, BCl three. Sp two is the hybridization means one twenty degree is the bond angle. This will be the answer. Clear students? BCl three is how I did boron three electrons in the valence shell. Each chlorine is monovalent. So total three bonds means sp two sp two bond angle is one twenty degree because boron at the center three chlorines will be like this bond angle is one twenty degree. Next question: Which one of the following bond order? Test yourself question because I covered this model. Do as a test yourself question. Next, copied. Which one of the following compounds shows the presence of intramolecular hydrogen bonding? Here, H2O2, HCN, and concentrated acetic acid. These are having intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Means hydrogen bonding is present between 
two different molecule two molecules but in this case the within the molecule itself molecules itself hydrogen bonding will be there so cellulose is the correct answer for intramolecular hydrogen bonding next one the hybridization of atomic orbitals of nitrogen in try this question also use the trick i taught and try this one copy this question and try question number 5 and 7 i gave as test yourself 5 7 the correct geometry and hybridization of xcf4 try this question also question number 9 which of the following pairs of ions is isoelectronic and isostructural try this also question number 8 this also question number 10 and see this consider the following ch4 nh3 and h2o which of the given statements is false see here ch4 nh3 and water according to vscpr theory the rule one of the rule is if lone pairs are there then lone pair lone pair repulsions are more than lone pair bond pair then bond pair bond pair repulsions so whenever lone pair is there lone pairs are there then repulsions will be more so that bond angle decreases bond angle decreases coming to the ch4 what is the hybridization students carbon group number 4 means valence shell electrons are 4 each hydrogen is monovalent so that total number of bonds 1 2 3 4 4 means sp3 sp3 with zero lone pairs in this case nitrogen five electrons in the valence shell and three hydrogens are there monovalent and remaining two electrons you have to consider as lone pair 1 2 3 4 4 means sp3 sp3 here one lone pair and in this case oxygen is a central atom it consists of six electrons in the valence shell or three and hydrogen monovalent remaining two you have to consider 1 2 3 4 4 sp3 hybridization with two lone pairs so whenever more lone pairs is there so more decrease in the bond angle this is tetrahedral with zero lone pairs but whenever lone pair is there in this bond angle will be decreased due to repulsion lone pair bond pair but here more decrease in the bond angle due to the presence of two lone pairs clear so when which which is a correct statement hoh bond angle in h2o is smaller h and h bond angle in yes correct this is having less bond angle hch bond angle in ch4 is larger than yes ammonia bond angle ch4 bond angle is more than ammonia hch bond angle in ch4 the n h and h bond angle in water are greater than 90 degree yes correct next the hoh bond angle in water is larger than no water bond angle is smaller than ch4 due to the presence of lone pair lone pair repulsions in the water molecule so this is a incorrect statement and coming to the next question predict the correct statement among the following just now we discussed that according to vscpr theory lone pair lone pair repulsions are greater than lone pair bond pair than bond pair bond pair so what is the correct answer third option is the correct answer next question in which of the following pairs both species are not isostructural isostructural in the sense you, what you should do is you have to find the structure same question this is also i'm giving a stress to yourself question do this also decreasing order of stability this also try this because whatever the tricks i taught you based on these tricks how many questions i gave students 14 13 8 9 7 five these many questions i gave because by using those tricks you can solve this try these questions and uh, i i will discuss these answers in the next video i hope you like this video thanks for watching